Hey, Dad, two more box tops, and uh, this baby's mine. It's exciting, Ben. Mm. I'm proud of you. You, you, you. you think you need another one of those little figurines? What is that exactly? That's... Well, it's part of a collection, and I, you know, I collect them, so yes, I guess I do need another figurine. And what happens when the collection's done? Will you stop eating breakfast? Well, no, I go on to a different set of figurines. I don't know, it just seems like a little piece of crap to me, you'll pardon the expression. What does this word say, Dad? Gen it says genuine article. Genuine. Genuine article. Yes. Right. I rest my case. Okay? So not a piece of crap. So this is not an imitation piece of crap. This is the real... That's genuine. Why do you say genuine? Why do you say that? Genuine. It's well, genuine. Ben, I, I'm, I'm working on my first cup of coffee, and I'm, I'm really not up for the cross-examination thing yet. You know? You know what, Dad? What? I what? got a question for you. Okay. Would it be all right if I uh, borrowed the car today? You know, you know I love you. Yeah, yeah. And you know that there's only one thing in the world I love more than you. Yeah. Um, the thing that you're interested in borrowing. The, the, uh, the car. That's right. Can, of course, I'm going to lend you the car, but I, I, I just need, I need some kind of reassurance from you that you'll, that you'll act responsibly. So just say something to let me know. Dad, it's me. It's Benny Boy. I know. I know. I need some kind of a. Are you bonded? One of the things people use a car for, Ben, is, is yeah. very often they'll use it to go from their home mm -hmm. to their job. Right, like you do. I do that, right. Yeah, you know, people take the bus, too, to work. You know? Which people, Ben? The poor people, Dad. No, I love the poor. You are the poor. I am. Well, <laughs> Well, my parole officer thought it would be a good idea. You know, uh, they encourage any kind of program where you can uh, talk instead of picking up a pack of matches. Where, where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in a little town called Gladys, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Little tobacco farming community. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you, if you have one year left to live, move there because every day feels like a freaking eternity. Small town. Small town. So there's not a lot going on there. Mm -mm. Anyway, I um, I was just home recently, and um, mm -hmm. I saw my family at Christmas, and my family is so ugly. And when I think of all the products available to us, I want to tell them, don't give up. Just mix and match some. I think the I think the whole world would be a better place to live if everyone just knew about Clinique Thirty Minute Turnaround Cream. You know, the products are out there. That's all I'm trying to say. Clinique 30, is that what it's It's 1995, for goodness sake. And if you don't have hair, you should go buy some. It's at the store. Are you the youngest? No, I, I'm, uh, I'm one of the middle ones. Who else is, who else is there? In the, you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I have a sister. Um, my, <clears throat> my sister's big boned. Um, Nothing wrong with that? Shut up. She can't help it. Oh. I have a mother. Let's talk about her. She throws a little Christmas party, and each year, me and my two brothers and my sister, we have to visit her because we're scared of her on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Mm -hmm. So last year, at the Christmas party, my mother put a microwave in the bathroom, and no one could figure it out. And you know my mother's on medication, so she's always happy. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, Mom, what's the deal with the microwave in the bathroom? And she's like, what's the deal with what? What's the deal, you know, with the microwave in the bathroom? I don't get it. And she's like, we got a bigger one for the kitchen. So, that's, so that didn't work out? No. Uh, she was uh, originally from Ireland. You know, she's an illegal alien over here. She wasn't mm -hmm. registered or anything. Irish woman. And I don't know what happened, but she broke up with me, so I reported her to immigration. Uh, I was like, I'm sorry, sweetheart, if we can't be together, you have to get the hell out of my country. Dr. Katz. Dr. Katz, you're not listening. I am listening to you. Don't you think you should face me when we have sessions? I can face you, Anthony. Can you? Stop tapping your shoe. Sorry, it's just a habit. What are you writing? It's a poem. <laughs> My baby, yes, good, good. That girl's got studio She likes to funky stuff She 
Whoa. Stop. Got me. Whoa. Take it. Hello? Hello? Um. Hello? Hello? Ben? Hello? Ben, can you hear me? Where are you? I'm in the car, Dad. That's where you called, right? It sounds like... I, got, I don't know. How, I'm exactly sure how to work this. Do I take it off the receiver? Just hold it, hold it up to your ear like a regular phone. Dad? Yeah. Oh, you're there. But it's not coming off the thing. Just yank it off. Well, I gotta also watch the road. I'll watch the road. You yank off the phone. Okay, well, hold on. Wait, I'm gonna put you on hold, Dad. Okay. okay. Y there's no hold button, Ben. What? There's not a hold. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm, I got you. You're breaking up in my, in my end here. Oh, I just took a turn. Oh, man, I'm going the wrong way now. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back. All right, call right back. Ben? Yeah, Dad, same problem. Oh, just the trick is when you drive... Ben? Okay, I'm fine. I'm on a straightaway. Okay, look, driving... Maybe I should pull over, huh? Yeah, maybe you want to pull off onto the shoulder while we talk, because it's a skill, driving and talking at the same time. Dad, you, did, did you just call to, uh, to tell me how to drive? No, I just wanted to make sure that you, you uh, were okay. You know, Dad, actually, the, the car is, there is... It seems to be running a little rough. Have you... No, I haven't had that experience, Ben. I, you know, because I, I find that when you, when you push down on the pedal, yeah. the gas, right. it's uh, very difficult to... Uh, What's difficult? You have to push a... a you have to push very hard. Well, then you're probably doing something wrong. Yeah, which, but... which foot do you break with? Uh, the uh, the left. No, Ben, you break with the right foot. No, you break with the left, and then you push the gas with the right. No, see, that's how you run. That's why you're running into trouble. You're no. breaking and, and gassing at the same time. You shift with your left hand, though. You don't have to shift in that car. It's an automatic. Oh, God. Have you been shifting, Ben? Have you been shifting? I've been pressing the horn a lot and going, Woo! To the ladies! <laughs> Pronto? Chi parla? Giovanni, come stai? Bene. Veramente? Laura. <laughs> I just need the... I need the... Um... Oh, Giovanni. Non posso andare a Italia. Non, non posso. Devo lavorare e non ce l'ho i, i soldi. Laura, just, I just need the folder. Please! Sorry. No, no. Vai. Should I... I'm on the phone. To Italy. Oh. I'm sorry, was there something you wanted me to do for you? Yeah, I got it myself, Laura. Thanks. Uh, okay. Uh, is there anything else you need? I'll tell you what would be great is if you could get me a, uh, a cup of coffee with milk. And oh, Dr. Katz, lip. you kill me. Seriously, I, yeah. I, uh, I would appreciate that. A cup of guy. Very rarely do I ask you to do that. And if you could just do that for me today, I, it would mean it means so much to me. God, I, and who says you're a big square nerd with no I, sense of humor? I, who says that? I do. Hi, Laura. Hi. Do you? This is like. Weird for me to ask this, but does he mention, does he talk about me at all? Why? I come to the sessions, and I, I dress kind of casually. I don't wear, like, a, a dress shirt or, or a blazer or anything. And do you... Mr. Kinler, could you please sit down until I call your name? Oh. All right. Uh, Mr. Andy Kindler? Yes? Very good. Just testing. But here's this sums up my uh, my family. This, my family just lives in complete fear. I I, I showed my mom one of those three D art books. Mm -hmm. I said, "See if you can see the three uh, D picture." My mom looks at it for a couple of seconds and she goes, "Do you think this is good for your eyes?" I guess what I'm saying is there aren't a lot of mountain climbers in my family. What else are you afraid of? I'm very scared of being uh, arrested. Yeah. And if, if I ever get arrested, I hope they don't play uh, good cop, bad cop with me. I don't want them to play good cop, bad cop. I'm hoping they play good cop, really good cop. So the first cop says, uh, 
would you like some coffee? And then the second cop says, how about a nice pastry with that? Andy, show business was a choice that you made. I'm sure it's not always easy. I went on an audition, and the guy says, uh, I start, he says, Slate, you know, say your name, you know, and then I start to talk and fool around. He goes, look, don't be shticky. What is You know what that means to me? We hate the Jews. I hate you, and you're a Jew. That's how I took that. Well, that's... that's Don't your, be your... shticky Jew. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I'm here to drop off my dad's car. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, is he is he with, with patient? Yes, he is. Yeah. You know, I guess I'll leave the car keys... Uh, with me. With you. Mm-hmm. And uh, so actually, um, uh, you know, I'm... I'm here a little late, so he might be a little mad, but I parked the car right out front. Oh, right out front? Yeah, right in the in the front. Right there. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. that that's a great place, because there's, there's that big sign that says, absolutely, no parking any time. I think that's, that'll be fine, right? Mm-hmm. Do people usually park there? Oh, yeah. You know, those, the, those signs are, are mostly just suggestions. I don't think they're, you know... You yeah, get... it's just uh, it kind of deters the people who are easily scared and leaves a space open for the bold. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Thanks. You got guts, kid. Right on, sister. Give me the keys. Woo! I'm sure that, that uh, your style of comedy doesn't appeal to everybody. Uh, actually, I did, um, I, we, we did some focus groups, and we found out that my target audience is men my age who are me. That seems to be the group of people that are most into what I'm doing. <laughs> You know, I've uh, I finished every magazine here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get going. Um, unless okay. you want to talk or something. Or... No. Hey, hey, hey! Come here. You want to see something cool? Yeah, sure. What? Look. It's my dad's car. Yeah. It's being towed. What? Yeah. You said it was okay to put. That's the... okay. Sh- sir. Excuse me. No towing. Uh, ben. Don't tow. Ben. Don't tow, sir. Ben, shut up. No tow, tow. You shut up. You shut up! Okay. This is serious! Fine, I was just going to offer to help. So bad and Benny unhappy. Doctor, um, it comforts me to call you doctor. I find it a little comforting myself, actually. You know, I was watching The Three Stooges, and I finally figured out why women don't like The Three Stooges. They're not funny. That's why women don't like them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I had to get her up to the doctor. <laughs> And I, I just didn't, I just didn't care. But now I have to take her home and take her to get her medicine. How am I going to get Nana's medicine without my car? Thank you. My mom is, is very supportive, though. I'll go out for a part, you know, and I'll call my mom and I say, you know, I didn't get the part. And she goes, well, Andy, it's their loss. Oh, really, Mom? Well, they seem to be taking it quite well. You have to remember, she's your mom. You know, she, she, she's just totally devoted to you, it seems like. You can't do any wrong in her book. But she still wants me to be a, uh, a surgeon. You know, she says, why can't you be a surgeon? Of course, I'm obsessive-compulsive, so I'd be saying things like, uh, I'm still washing. I'll come soon. You know, let me give you another example, Doctor. Okay. I leave the house. Right. i got to go back to the house now. Why? Because maybe I left a piece of paper on a counter, and maybe I left the window open a little bit, and then the wind blew the piece of paper directly into the pilot light on the stove. Now I have a fire on my hands, because I wasn't careful. You know what I would recommend, uh, Andy, for this particular problem is a a paperweight. Um, this is totally, I know that you've, this, I don't even know what made me ask this, but when I leave, a lot of times, uh, like, I'll say goodbye, and Dr. Katz will say goodbye, but he says it in kind of a weird way. And, like, I don't know if this is, if I'm supposed to do this, but it, am I supposed to tip? Mm-hmm.
guy came in last week, Julie, he says, uh, my problem is, Dr. Katz, I think I'm a pup tent. I mean, I'm a teepee. I'm a pup tent. I'm a teepee. I said, you know what your problem is? You're too tense. Do you not get that joke? I don't get that joke. Let me try it again. A guy comes in last week. He says, Dr. Katz, my problem is I think I'm a pup tent. I mean, I'm a teepee. I'm a pup tent. I'm a teepee. I'm a pup tent. I said, you know what your problem is? You're too tense. You're too tense. Is that, what is that, like a therapist joke or something? It's going around. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? The interrupting cow. The interrupting Moo. <laughs> That could be the one. That's the one. I like that one. Hey, if it's not, if it's not out of your way, could you just drop me off on the way home? Where's, where's your car? It's in the shop. Oh, uh, maintenance? Mm, well. You didn't get to have an accident, did you? No, I had a son. You had a son. Yeah. Ben. Had... Ben borrowed the car today. What did he do? Well. Apparently, it's what he didn't do. They didn't release the emergency brake. Ooh, ow, 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 ooh, ow. Yeah. He drove the car for about three hours with the emergency brake on. Oh, God. You know what that can do? That can, that can strip the kishkis. Yeah. And, and he claims the kishkis. Yeah. The universal kishkis, it, it can strip them, and you have to replace the whole thing. You know, if, my problem is if, if he would just own up to what he did, but he's claiming that everyone has their own definition of emergency. Hmm. So, Ben, what's the first thing you do when you get in the car? Dad, let's not go over this again, okay? Just tell me the first thing. Emergency break. Okay, that's just wanted to hear you say it. Okay, I'll, I will not bring it up again. I How promise many times you won't... am I going to apologize? You know yeah. I've made a mistake. Okay. And... Uh, ben, are you going to take a shower before you go out? Because you are ripe, my friend. <laughs> what do you mean ripe? Well, you stink. What, what did you... I don't stink. That's a natural... Can you just crack the window a little bit? Because Grace is coming over. I think, you know, it's not fair to her. That she, has to, that she has to clean a house and... Well, Grace just doesn't smell great either. You're a healthy 24-year-old man. Grace is a 73-year-old woman who's... You know, Dad, in Europe, it's considered obsessive to bathe. To bathe. What I'm really leading up to, Ben, is do you ever think that maybe someday you might want to have your own car? Well, no. I, I mean, there's no reason. What do you mean? Why is that? Well, I have your car. I can use your car. Why would I... Well, I, I just thought... It's something you might want to think about because a lot of the car manufacturers are now offering automobiles in exchange for money that people have earned. You know, there's a people concept like your that, father, people yeah. like your cousin yeah. Paul. I'm familiar with those people, people who get up in the morning, go to a job, you know, work all week, get but a they, paycheck. You know, there's a little thing called sharing. All right. Yes. I'm familiar with it? Are you saying I'm not a sharer? Well, I'm saying like you know, we have a car. You don't use it all the time. We share. Wait, wait. Who has a car? Who's who has a car? Ben? We have a car. The family. The family ben, car. Ben, the I American have... dream. <laughs> God, do I stink. Well, it sounds like a good, a good job, Tony. Why is that bad news? Well, it, it just involves so much travel, and um, I don't like the bumping. When you go through the clouds in the, on the airplane, the bumping. Mm. Because on the last flight, uh, we were hitting all these bumps, and the stewardess comes over and is like, um, Mr. Clark, you have to wake up, sit up, and put on your seatbelt. We're experiencing turbulence. I was like, well, thank God you woke me up, because I'd have slept right through that. So what, what kind of scam are you talking about? Well, um, while we were in Italy, this woman walked up to my friend and um, threw my friend a baby. And uh, when my friend caught the woman's baby... Her other kids ran up and took what was in my friend's pockets. Mm. So um, let that be a tip for you. You know, if you're ever in Italy and uh, someone throws you a baby, swat it to the ground. Swat it to the ground and scream, I don't think so. Hey, good for you, Tony. I'm just trying to take a bite out of crime. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what do you mean you're losing respect for stand-up comedy? They, I, I hate when a comic has a joke and the premise is incorrect. Like, I work with this comic, and he opens up his act with, uh, I went in the store, and I, I saw sugar-free chocolate. Who's this for? 
It's for diabetics. That's who it's for. Walk in the hospital, I see insulin. What's that all about? Who's that for? I see what you're saying. All right, then. What did you do before you got into show business, Andy? Before I got into uh, comedy, I had a lot of uh, horrible day jobs. I actually sold door-to-door -door for two years, and uh, I learned a very valuable lesson that people don't like to be disturbed at home. My mom only somewhat gets what I'm talking about. She gets half the story, and then she... It's like, and then the, when the, the worst thing was in college, she would always try and, and involve me in whatever discussion was happening or whatever situation was going on. Like, we'd be at Thanksgiving, and she would go, Are you listening, Adzi? Your cousin Michael's going to college. You majored in English literature. Do you think that would be a nice subject for your cousin Michael? I get the idea. So she would make Ad, and Ad, I get the idea. So, so her... This, you played the violin in college. Right, so she would... She Your cousin would, Michael is looking to play some kind of an instrument when he gets to college. Okay. Andy, would you recommend the violin to okay, your cousin Michael? Mrs. Kindler, can you turn the or floor back over to your son, Or would you suggest that he please? plays some kind of a wind instrument? Okay. So so you wouldn't... And you were a bartender. Why don't you fix your Uncle Sandy a scotch and soda? Whoops, you know what that means. Our time is up. This has been a presentation from Comedy Central. Hey!